This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Holtes, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's July 2021 and the way in which the laser guided Mavericks in DCS has completely changed with this aircraft. So essentially let's just forget everything we know at the moment and start again. Instead of one type of laser Maverick, we now have two types. We have the old type which was the AGM 65E Maverick. This can no longer be self-designated from our T-Pod, it has to be designated from a third party, a JTAC or a Buddy Lays from another aircraft. We also have now the Lima model, otherwise known as the E2. It can be Lays from a third party laser and it can also be lased by us with a teapod. So we're going to show everything we can off at once. So we're taking a teapod, a Lima model, and an Echo model. Arm up. Request rearming. We're in the air now. There are a series of ground targets in front of us, and we also have a Reaper drone up in the sky that's going to designate these targets for us to help us show the Echo model off. So let's get to work. Master arm on. Air to ground mode. Menu stores echo model lima model let's start with the echo model because it's a lot easier this shows you that it's currently not aligned so we need to wait until that says ready it takes about 30 seconds from this point and i'll speed it forward and it shows you the prf or laser code it's searching for is 1688 we'll show you changing that on the next maverick so let's just speed up until this says ready I think it's about 30 seconds there ready to go next we need a third party laser and i can tell you that there is a reaper drone up above lasing on prf 1688 on that target where that smoke is in the middle so all i need to do now is press cage uncaged and then the selected echo maverick will start searching for the laser designation on 1688 so let's do that uncaged you can see this cross moving left to right here it's searching within the field of view of the missile for that laser it's not working and it's not working because we're too far away we're 12 miles away at the moment the dcs lasers go for exactly 10 nautical miles so watch what happens when we get within 10 nautical miles 11 10 and a half 10 and it's found the target we know that because it's got a box around the target the target is 9.8 miles we can see the bore sight of the missile is aiming there and that's where the target is that's been found all we need to do now is get in range of the missile generally it said about six to seven miles depending on your parameters so let's just unpause get to about six and a half miles that should do and then push once bomb pickle to send the missile out off you go and i'm just gonna pause it there and this is now going to track PRF laser 1688, which happens to be where that red smoke is. Ping, nice and easy. Okay, now we're going to try the Lima Maverick, which we can designate ourselves. So we're going to go back to stores page. In fact, we don't. We can actually go straight to the Lima model from here. So let's go to the Lima model. You can see it's on standby. It's the first thing. Let's let it align. And I'm going to speed that up. This takes about 90 seconds to align, we think. So we're just waiting for this to say ready okay it's now ready to use next we don't want to conflict with the existing reaper laser so we want to change the laser code of our targeting pod and our missile so that's super easy to do and the rest of the controls that we're going to use today will be s s s aft to select our lst double press of sensor select switch down to activate our teapot in hotas mode push and hold s s s forwards to temporarily activate our AGM-65 Lima missile. TDC down, action position to lock a ground target. And the other two controls are as we've seen before. So, SSS off to get our LST screen up. There we go. Box code here, which is boxed. We can now change the laser code on our laser and on our missile. Currently 1688. On the UFC, we can go 1588 or whatever your valid code is. Enter. Our T-Pod and our Lima missile are now both using 1588. Next, let's start the T-Pod up. So, from right screen, I'm going to go Menu, T-Pod, Operational. I'm going to double press SSS Depress to turn it into HOTAS mode. I'm now going to find a target. Zoom in. I want to go that one there that's currently not being designated by the Reaper drone. That's as accurate as I need to do it. I'm going to press PDC down. Next, and it's quite important we do it in this order, we're going to press SSS. When I say SSS, I mean sensor select switch forward and hold that. 
that will temporarily on the right screen bring up our laser map here now we press cage uncage and it will start that missile searching you can see it's now searching on PRF 1588 you can see our teapot is also PRF 1588 we can now fire the laser in our traditional standard so unsafe the laser turn it from training to designating laser fire the laser and watch what happens when we do that in a blink of an eye the missile has found the target and you can see the box is now inside the teapot octagon it's 6.3 miles it's in range don't need to run pause in this case so just bomb pickle off she goes we can maneuver away but we've got to make sure that our teapot is not blocked so uh, don't move too far away because we need to laser designate obviously off it goes ignores the 1688 picks up the 1588 and that is the boom boom that showed us how to use an echo maverick with the new system to attack a buddy laser or a jtac laser and then how to use a lima maverick to attack a target that we have designated through our own teapod on a different PRF. That's how it works now. I hope that was useful and see you later.